Hi guys, my name is Justice Kofi Kabe. Uh, today's lesson will be on spreadsheets for primary five. Lesson one, term two. Stay tuned as I take you through the lesson. Now, the first question that is asked under spreadsheet application is, what is spreadsheets? A spreadsheet is a paper ledger or table used for mathematical calculation and for recording business transactions. It is often used for accounting purposes. Features of spreadsheet application. We have the toolbar which contains the formula bar, the standard toolbar, with the formatting toolbar, etc. We also have the name box, the row, columns, cell, active cell, auto sum worksheet, workbook, and cell reference or cell address. All these features, we have more features under spreadsheet application. For that, because of your level in grade five, we, you are asked to learn only this. In this case, let's move to how a spreadsheet application or window looks like and the part labeled. Now, so this is a spreadsheet application. So the whole diagram that you see here, this is how a spreadsheet application looks like. So for example, we have types of spreadsheet application. But as in Ghana here, we have the Microsoft Excel. We are familiar with the use of the Microsoft Excel. So in educational aspects, or in under Ghana Education Service, we're asked to teach you the spreadsheet, uh, the Microsoft Excel. So now let's look at the parts. Now, the first part labeled is menu bar. Now the menu bar contains, this is the part called the menu bar. This place is the menu bar. It contains the file, edit, view, insert, format, tools, data, and uh, windows, and help. So that's the menu bar. Then we have the standard toolbar. Here's the standard toolbar. So this is the standard toolbar. So if you look at the line drawn here, you realize that this is the part label as the standard toolbar. The standard toolbar contains save, print, copy, uh, search, undo, redo, and the rest, as you can see on the standard toolbar. Then the next one we have is name box. Name box. So name box, which means that when you look at the cell that is selected here, cell A1 will display on the name box. The cell reference will be displayed on the name box. So when a cell is selected, the cell reference or the cell address will be displayed on at name box or on the name box column. Then let's move to the next one. Then we have this side which call row headings. This side is called the row headings. So that's you see one, two, three, four, five, up to twelve. It's called the row headings. Then we have this which is called active cell, a cell that is ready to receive data. It's called active cell. So this is the part label active cell. So when it asks you what is active cell, an active cell is a cell that is ready to receive data. So under spreadsheet application, when you select a cell, when you select a cell, it means automatically that cell is ready to receive data. The next part labeled is column headings. Column headings. Column headings contain A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H up to the end. So all the alphabets here which is the part label from here to this side, is called the column headings. Then we have the next part label, which is called this one, uh, sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. So this one is called the sheet tabs. In a default spreadsheet application, we have only three sheets. You can create more if depending on the document you are creating. But in a default spreadsheet application, you have only three sheets. So it can come in your exams or in your objectives. They can ask you, name three default uh, worksheets in 
at Microsoft Excel. So the answer is what? Three sheets. So that's sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. Then the next one is the scroll bars. The scroll bars. So the scroll bar contains the vertical scroll bars and the horizontal scroll bars. So this is the, the scroll bars, both vertical and horizontal. So this is the scroll bar when you study the direction of the arrow where it is coming from. Then we have the next one to be the status bar. Yes, the status bar. So this is the status bar here. Now you can see that they've written the ready. Yes, that line created over there is called the status bar. Then the next part labeled is inactive cell. So you see, in other words, active cell is a cell that is ready to receive data. So which means that if the cell is not selected, it's called inactive cell. So as an inactive cell is a cell that is not ready to receive data or that no data is being entered. So active cell is just opposite of inactive cell. I believe you understand. Good. Now, another part labeled is the title bar. The title bar. So this is the title bar. In other words, the title bar displays the current windows or application or the file name in which you have launched or opened. So for example, the title bar is displaying Microsoft Excel. So the title bar can also display the name of the document you saved. The title bar has some, uh, something called the formula bar. This is the formula bar. Yes. In mathematics, you have something uh, FX. Yes, this place is called the formula bar. Yes, this side is called the formula bar. This white background here is called the formula bar. So that is it, formula bar. Yes, formula bar. Now the formula bar, the formula bar is used or it displays the formula or functions that you use to generate or to calculate the, the numbers in the spreadsheet application. So, which means that, in other words, before you can make calculation in spreadsheet application, you have to generate formulas. So, assuming I've given you an assignment and I asked to add one, two, three, four, five in different cells, then you decide, that, oh, the answer is seven. The answer is seven, correct? But I'm not expecting you to give me the answer straight for you. I'm expecting you to generate formulas based on the cell references that those figures are located. So immediately you generate the correct formulas, then the answer will be created for you as seven. So that formula is, so when you type, before I can know, or for me to notice that you typed a formula in the column or the, the cells, when I put, when I select your formula or when I select the, 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 the answer you've given, that formula will be displayed on the formula bar here. Then I'll know yes, then I'll understand that or I will know you selected or you entered a formula to get your answer. Yes. Then we have the formatting toolbar. Yes. The formatting toolbar. Most of the time we say, what, are the, what is formatting? You know, formatting is changing the appearance for, of a text to make it more, look more beautiful and readable. Yes. Now the formatting toolbar contains so many buttons. We have the font type, the font size, uh, the bold, italic, left alignment, center, then right alignment. So here are the formatting tools and the formatting toolbar. So this side is called the formatting toolbar the formatting toolbar inside it's called the formatting toolbar the formatting toolbar i believe you understand so let's move on and look at types of spreadsheets let's move on and look at types of spreadsheets yes so let's look at types of spreadsheets types of spreadsheets now we have want to be Google Sheets. One type of spreadsheet one Google Sheets. Google Sheets 
and we have the I work number, Libra office, Lotus one, two, three, Microsoft Excel, VisiCalc, the last one, Lotus one, two, three. We have more of or more types of different types of spreadsheet application that I have not listed here. You can make research on it and get more. We have some to be, um, um, yeah, so you can do your own research and get more. Hmm, good, beautiful. So these are the images or the icons in which the different types of spreadsheet looks like. So we have the Microsoft Excel that you see here. This is the Microsoft Excel, as I said earlier in the types. This is the iWork number or iWork numbers. We have the VisiCalc. We have the Lotus 1, 2, 3. We have the Lotus Symphony as the last one you see. We have the Libra Office. Then we have the Google Sheets. So these are the types of spreadsheets we have. Some types of spreadsheets we have. Now let's look at the functions of uses of the features. Now the first one is name box. The name box displays the cell address of the active cell or the assigned name. So it displays the cell address of the active cell or the assigned name. As I said earlier, when we were studying the, the diagram or the spreadsheet window, the path labeled, there was a path labeled active cell. And I said that active cell is a cell that's ready to receive data. So the active cell name box displays the cell reference, which means that if the, it is typed in A, uh, A1, name box will display A1 on the, the name box column. For example, let's go back and you see something. So look at this, please. You realize that we have this cell is active, which is ready to receive data. This very cell, yeah, is active to receive, receive data. So now, this is name box. If you go when we're doing the path label, this is name box. So it's directing, so it is what? A1, the cell that is active. So the name box displays the what? The cell reference of an active cell. Okay, now let's go back. Then the next one is rows. Rows is what? The horizontal arrangement of cells. Yes, horizontal arrangement of cells. That is rows. Now, let's see. This is row. This is row. So this is row. That's what they mean, the horizontal arrangement of cells. So you can remember, we studied that this is a row head is. So this row, horizontal arrangement of what? Cells. Have you seen? Good. Now let's go to the next one, which is what? Columns. So columns is just a vice versa or opposite of what? Rows. So if row is horizontal arrangement of cells, then column is what? Vertical arrangement of cells. Vertical arrangement of what? Cells. So this column, this column. See? This column. So from here, just in this row is column and this is row so it is what the vertical arrangement of cells now cell it is the intersection between columns and rows it is the intersection between columns and rows that is the definition for what a uh, cell or cell now as we said that column a row is horizontal whilst column is vertical it means that where the horizontal line and the vertical line meet create a cell so if you look at the spreadsheet window again you know that okay so this is uh, this is a column and this is row so where the two meets creates a cell so this is a cell as you see this is a cell. In other books, an active cell, inactive cell can also be a cell. 
inactive cell can also be what a cell you know sometimes you're asking the exams what is the part labeled here as you see or just write inactive cell or just write at a cell or cell they are all correct it's also correct you can just state it that way because if the cell is not ready to receive data it is not ready to receive data so a cell is not ready to receive data inactive cells also is not ready to receive data so it can be in active cell it can be inactive cell or cell now let's go to the next one then we have the next one to write active cell active cell it's a cell that is ready it is a cell that is ready yeah that is ready it's a cell that is so there's so correct it when you have your note you are writing correct that it is a cell that is ready to receive data so if you are taking notes correct this it's not supposed to be there so just write it's a cell that is ready to receive data very simple yes so in active cell is a cell that is ready to receive data then we have the auto we have the auto uh sum this Autosum performs an automatic summation of series of cells. This function performs an automatic summation of series of cells. So when you enter cells, so let's say, let's go back and study this. So this is the cell that you've selected here. So assuming you write here one, you write here two. So which is the cell reference of one would be at A1 and the cell reference for two would be at B1. So assuming you want to put the answer here, when you put the answer, the answer is supposed to be what is equal to sum is equal to uh, uh, a1 plus b1. When you enter that formula in the cell over there, you'll be able to generate the correct answer when the correct formula is typed or entered into the cell. In spreadsheet application, we don't write straightforward answers you generate formulas to get your answer you are not supposed to learn that now you do that in grade six so as we are going on when you get to grade six or tutorials but the next tutorial will be given in grade six class you will be able to understand what i mean by generating formulas and uh, calculating or making calculations in spreadsheet application but for now you are just learning the parts and the types and what is spreadsheet application. Now let's move to the last one, which is cell reference address. Yes, a cell reference address is made up of a column letter and a row number. A cell reference address is made up of a column letter and a row number. So now let's look at it. This is a column, a row number. And this is a, col uh, a column number, a letter, sorry. This is a row number, a row number, and a column letter. So a letter A, B, C, D. Then row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 12. As you see, we have more under it. That's, this is just a screenshot of parts of the spreadsheet. Now, I see that Excel reference is made up of what? A column is made up of what? A column uh, letter and a row number so as you can see displayed on the name box here this is a cell reference address a1 so a which is a column letter then one which is a row number a1 as you can see here so b1 b4 have you seen it a10 b10 six uh, c6 so these are cell references good so i believe you understand the work frame of the spreadsheet application yes i i don't forget to subscribe to my channel on youtube so that you can receive more tutorials on lessons as you guys are at home and you have nothing to read so anytime you you subscribe to my when you subscribe to my youtube channel later my i drop a new video 
you'll be able to get it or a new lesson for your class you'll be able to see it and prepare as you are at home yes let's look at this uh, review questions yes the first question is what is spreadsheet yes so you can do that on your own and try as and see if you'll be able to recollect the lesson or the, the things that we learned then question two list five examples of spreadsheet application yes we just did that in just earlier on then now this question don't be confused exam question is very tactical especially when it comes to ict i said we learned it as types we learned it as what types but here i'm saying that examples so don't be confused so if they should ask you the example what are right five examples of spreadsheet application they are simply asking you the types of spreadsheet application so that is it so five or five examples or five types of spreadsheet application is the same answer you are supposed to give then let's come to question three write five features of a spreadsheet application okay so five features we just did it earlier just refer to the lesson and see if you'll be able to recollect what you've learned then now question four write the function of the five features listed in question three above so based on the features that you listed in question three above write the functions or uses of each features that you listed above yes i believe the lesson was was more educative for you if you have any question you can leave your comments under the comment section when i see it i'll reply you or you can just go to my facebook handle reply send any question at all you want to ask especially candidates who are preparing for bc i will be giving you some tutorials on mocks and um also uh reviewing some past question the past question explain some of the past questions we have some of the private bc written and also some topics treated so subscribe to my youtube channel on youtube just to skate tv and also on facebook just to skate tv so that anytime you I drop any tutorials you'll be able to be not you'll be notified for it thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next lesson bye